and share ideas with everyone. Friends, I'm so happy you're here with me tonight. I'm so excited to be crafting and painting with you. Uh, let me get my pad going here. I saw so many of you were on earlier. Ah, how do I do the sound? <laughs> Sounds right there. I apologize. I um, I get it louder. <laughs> to turn on my mic and Jared is filming for us tonight because Hanito had to go to a meeting he's getting ready for the chili cook-off on Saturday so friends what is everyone up to oh my goodness hi Linda Thompson Charlene and Madeline and I saw that Ivy was on earlier and Mark hi Brenda Owens Oh, friends, y'all make my heart so happy when I come on and you're already on here. I appreciate you so much. So, we went to Mexico City last week and we had an absolute blast. And it is a magical city. There's so much history there. Uh, yes, there was the uh, International Women's Day protest in March, but pff, that didn't bother us. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, I wanted to share some of those pictures and things with you, but I hadn't had a chance to post them yet. But anyway, I will later on. Um, I uh, One of the highlights of my trip, there was two places I really wanted to go. One was the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It was very special to me, and I got to go there. And uh, also to visit the home and museum of Frida. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe I actually made it there. She is one of my favorite Mexican artists, and I just think she is so, uh, so awesome. And I know she's a controversial figure, but I just overlooked that and see her talent. Well, friends, I'm ready to paint a little bit. You know, you asked me for a Mother's Day uh, craft. Well, um, I'll be hopefully having something for you um, in the next week or so. However, I did want to start off with something that would be a cute friendship gift, Mother's Day gift, or a teacher gift, and it's a, a painted little pot. I just uh, I love painting on pots, and every chance I get, I try to have some ready to give away as gifts. And this is one of my favorite patterns. I make these on big ones, little ones, medium-sized ones, and they're so fast and easy to do. So I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy you can paint one of these. And at the same time, I wanted to show you the one that's most fun for me to paint, which is my Big Frida one. I have painted so many of these friends. I have donated a bunch of them for uh, fundraisers and raffles and things like that, and I have sold a few, but this is my pride and joy, my big one that I just love. Normally what I do with this one, I don't put it outside. I have it inside with a big old cactus that I just insert in there, and um, I use it every year. The one I made last night that I hope to share with you, if anyone is interested in learning how quick and easy you can paint one of these, um, I made this one last night. I mean, I painted it last night. And friends, well, I mean, I didn't do a really, really good job. I was kind of texting back and forth with my friend Debbie Williams and painting at the same time. But if you're interested and would like to learn how to paint one of these, let me know in the comments. Friends, and let me know where you're watching from. And if you're still working on Easter crafts. Hi, Sandy. Somebody said that they wanted a, like a De Los Muertos one. 
Oh, I, I will I will be doing some of those. Trust me, I will be doing those. I didn't get to them last year, but I will this year. Okay, the way I started off with this, uh, I, I guess I got this idea from Pinterest years ago because I know that it was over five years ago that I started painting uh, this pattern. So I just uh, drew, because I paint them on big pots like this as well, a different pattern, just overflowing from the top and the bottom. But for this little one, I just drew this flower and you can see how many times I had to erase. <laughs> I was not happy with it because I think this size is for like a pot bigger, but I just didn't want to take time to reduce the pattern. Uh, so I went ahead and just used what I had and worked with it. Okay. You're not using a glue gun are you today? No, no glue okay. gun today. Friends, no glue gun. Um, my messages are not, I mean, my comments are not moving up. I don't know why, but okay. So, Jared, you read the messages for me. Well, at least not like a little. Hi, hi uh, Cindy. Welcome home. Yes. We had a fun time. Okay, you're going to need to start off with a little clay pot. And I picked some of these up this week at Walmart, and uh, I just painted the inside blue. I like to paint the inside of mine uh, a different color. So I painted this in blue, and I just used this blue that I had on hand. I'm trying to use up what I have. I had bought this at Hobby Lobby, and it was reduced, and it's really, really good because all you, all you need is one coat. It's really, really thick. And... All right, so the next thing I did is I base coated it in the, the jack-o'-lantern color of um, the apple barrel paint, and I did not like the way it looked. So I went ahead and used the Harvest Orange and went over it. So that's why it looks kind of two-tone. All right, friends. It's really, really simple and easy to do. I don't have clay pots, gonna have to go. Yes, you're gonna have to go buy some clay pots. And listen, friends, I'm telling you, you'll see at the end, they're so cute to give away as gifts. Hi, Maria. I'm so glad you're here, Maria. Okay, so once I did that, I t what I did is I took this pattern right here and I made a copy of it. Because hmm, Miss Debbie Williams isn't on tonight. Oh, Miss Debbie was was uh, not feeling well today. Hi, Jennifer Losey. Okay, so what I did is I cut the pattern out. I cut the pattern out, and it's real simple to do. Just and I traced it on here like this. No stencil today, friends. Just straight out. Gonna paint it. And I just drew the circle and court. Ever there was a loop, a, a you know, a petal of the flower, I m made a mark, and that way I knew to trace it on there. Th the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I suggest you paint um, the leaves on the sides first and then the center. That's what I'm going to do. So why are you going to paint the leaves first? Just because. <laughs> well, because the leaves... The leaf part comes inside right there into the petal. See? And that way, if you go over the line, you won't mess up your flower because your flower, you can come back over it and uh, paint your petal over it. So that'll be good. Hi, Marion Wolf, Linda. Hi. And I'm using just what I have on hand. This is bright green apple uh, barrel. And I'm using this brush. This brush is a pointed round brush. And it says here, Fra Fabric Master. And I've had this for a very long time. So I take it care of it. See, it's got a little point. It's so good for uh, painting detail like this. Alrighty, let's get started, friends. Hi, Lenita. How are you? Hi, Christy Erickson. Flip over saying that they want to learn how to paint a pot. Oh, good. How about the little, uh, the pot that I just showed you? Everybody likes the big and the small, medium and large. Oh, friends, and they're so pretty. I love, I love to have colored pots on my patio. 
I would show you the big pots, but they've, they're out there. One of them has a big cactus. I start off with little, little plants and they just grow so big. I just, uh, I'm, I'm one of those people that just loves plants. Yeah, if you, that would let you, you have plants on every corner. Of the <laughs> I know. Uh, yes, my Hanito was so sad that he wasn't going to be able to film today because he wanted to chit chat with everybody, but he's in charge of the um, chili cook-off and it's the first year for the Knights of Columbus to host one here um, with our church and uh, he needed to go to the meeting today. So I'll be cooking a pot of chili. And guess what? I think the weather's going to be good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it alone. That's one coat because normally it's going to have to take two coats, just about everything. So I like to use different colors just to make them wild. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with the purple flower. X marks the spot with Daisy. I did. I did have a wonderful vacation, sweet friend. Oh, we had so much fun. And the hotel that we stayed at, we got treated like royalty. I'm not kidding you, friends. Uh, we were greeted with bubbly champagne when we arrived. But first, when we arrived, I don't know if some of y'all have seen my little video on um on uh not TikTok but um Instagram the the bell bellboy people they bell wore man. those those traditional coat and little hats and everything I felt like I was in New York City they were just and they were so um courteous and nice and that had a terrace a restaurant with a terrace and it overlooked the um the square facing uh, in front of the presidential palace. It was just awesome. It was just so, we just had such a wonderful time. You know, there is so much to see and do in uh, Mexico. We'd like to, I can't wait to go back one day. We had so much fun. And John Paul and Laurie, they were so glad to get away from the cold. And then we were sweating, friends, because it was 90 degrees. Someone's asking, where did, where did you all go? To Mexico City. Mexico City, and we went the, we went to, like I said, uh, the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. That was one place where I wanted to go. Oh, that's not what I'm going to do right there. I'm talking, and I'll fix that. I'm going to go over that with the... Um, well, some biscuit. <laughs> and we went to... Several museums, the Metropolitan Museum. Oh man, so interesting. We didn't book a tour with uh, for the. Uh, if you mess up, just get you a wet wipe, and that's going to be purple. I forgot. Uh, we didn't get to go to the ruins of the pyramids because that was a half day tour, and it was so hot, and there's no shade out there. I couldn't handle it. Plus, you have to book your tours way in advance luckily my son had uh and daughter-in-law had booked tours way ahead of time somebody asked did you have to do two coats on the pot of that orange yes yes this goes so fast i just i love painting these i'm gonna be painting these in all different colors for my little um my lady friends for Mother's Day. It's a little gift that I'm going to give to them. Normally I have a little ivy plant all ready to go, but this year I'm going to use the little succulents or succulents. How do you say it? I have a hard time saying that word. Okay, so remember I said it takes two coats. Hi, Sand Sandra Crosby. I got to tell you something, sweet friend. I mailed you a birthday card because I know your birthday is on the 23rd. And friends, I was in such a hurry. I don't think I wrote anything in. I think I just put it in the envelope. Blank card. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, 
I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'll make up for it. I know I sent it to you, but I didn't put anything. I didn't write anything. Just read in. whatever it says in there. I the know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go over the green again. Put the second coat on. Yes. Mm -hmm. You only do two. Hi, coats? Linda Whitback. And oopsie daisy. Yes, two two coats is good enough. an idea for one um, that said mom but then I thought no I want to do this instead Dollar Tree Brooklyn girl Joanne my birthday is on Saturday Sonia is your birthday this Saturday oh my goodness Sonia message me your uh, mailing address y'all Sonia is just so sweet and she has a channel she does Dollar Tree hauls, and she is just so darn pleasant. I just love her. I've known her for a long time. Hi, Angel. So I asked, do you put a base Hi, coat Nancy. on the pot, or do you just paint it? No, I don't seal the pot. I just paint it. it. It's not necessary, I have found, because like I said, I have some that are outside that have the dirt in them. What I do after I paint it, like this one's already, I spray it down, I seal it with some spray sealer inside and out. And friends, I have some that are five years old that I've had outside. They don't peel. What happens is they, uh, the sun just doles the color out. You Fades know. them out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, okay, so that's two on the leaves. That's all you're going to have to do on the leaves. Um, in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and do another coat of red. See how fast it dries? It dries pretty fast. It does. Even though it's humid today. Oh, it's very humid. Oh my goodness. I didn't come on Tuesday because I had a very bad hair day. <laughs> when it's humid, my hair gets all curly and kinky, and sometimes it just does not want to relax. So you ever send the love your shirt? Oh my my apron. My Hanika yeah. bought that for me. Rinse, everything is so expensive in Mexico City. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. Like, high-end restaurants, they're just as expensive as they are here. Um, souvenirs are very expensive. Um, I, I don't know, we didn't stop, it was so busy, we didn't really stop with street vendors and, and you know, check out their prices and stuff because what? we were, oh, I know! We're always on the go, go, go. And when you go with Polly and Laurie, they're fast. But anyway, um, gosh, everything was really expensive. I only found uh, I only found one place that had reasonable uh, prices. Yes, at the museums forget it. You know, I collect <laughs> I collect uh, magnets and from different places everywhere we try to go, and um, also ornaments. Well, I couldn't afford any of them at the museums. They were outrageous, outrageously priced. And all the, the, the amount of each item was in pesos, so you had to divide it by 16 because that's the going rate. And it seemed like, oh, this is pretty cheap, but then you divide it by 16 and it wasn't. <laughs> I'd be like, too much math in my head. Use credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to use the purple, and you don't have to do this leaf by leaf, and it doesn't have to be perfect, friends. You just get this color on there any way you can. Hi, Stacy Flanagan. Jennifer, you can't hear? Who can you not hear? I'm so loud, sweet friend. Hi, Brenda Welch. Somebody earlier was saying that they can't hear you, but that was before and after I turned on your mic. Oh my goodness, we have one mic that's kind of malfunctioning. I hope I'm not wearing that one today. Might be. No, I don't think so. Should we not label it? I thought I did. I thought I put a little gold heart on it. This goes by so fast, friends. And it looks so cute and it just makes such a sweet gift. And if you make a bunch of them at the same time, just alternate colors. You'll have all these little gifts, and they look so cute. 
I love to dis display these little pots like during the month of May. Cinco de Mayo, my birthday, my John Paul's birthday, Mother's a Day. A lot of people are saying they can hear you. I guess whoever can't hear you is just there. Hi, um, Thrifter Not Hoarder Sally. How are you, sweet friend? Hi, Connie. Hi, Phil. Hi, Tina. Okay, friends. Jared, are you working tomorrow in the day, during the day? I want to come on tomorrow during the day just to share some, uh, just some Easter gift ideas. And I know that that's not going to work out for everybody. Hi, Rebecca Cooper and Bobby Wallace. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kay. Amy, I'm so glad you're here. I, I want to say I want to do it at a, I know I have to go into town tomorrow, but I want to get it done because I want to do something different on Sunday. So, um, or am I going to be on Sunday because of St. Patrick's Day? Alrighty. I don't know. I think I'm going to come on tomorrow, friends, just right quick. Hey, Kenneth, how are you, sweet friend? I think Jazz Boy is on too, so I could probably say hi to him. Hi, Jazz Boy. Hi, Elsa, como esta? Mira, estoy haciendo unos floridillos. How do you say little clay pots in Spanish? Jared. <laughs> My Jared. And why you ask Hi, me? Vanessa. Okay, so while a little bit of that is drying, let's go ahead and get another coat on here. Should have used a darker, darker purple, but I think this is going to be okay. Once you put the detail on it, it'll hide any flaws that you have. Heard Debbie is making a tutorial. Yeah, I'm trying to convince her to go ahead and, uh, and by the way, thank you so much for supporting Debbie with her uh, Facebook Live on Sunday night. I'm so happy that she did that. She was amazing with her little Grinch ornament. I want her to show us how she made that cute little bunny, and she made some cute donuts as well. And I'm so glad my friend Amy came on and made her little cards as well. Friends, I'm just so happy that y'all love crafting as much as I do. Hi, Maria, Lynn, and Carolyn. Thank you for being here, friends. All righty, down here at the bottom, it's going to look kind of funky. Amy Timmers, Crafting is my middle name. Left hey, around. Amy. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for Amy to come craft with me. I don't know that this purple is going to work out the way I wanted it to, but you know what, friends? It's going to be all right because once you get the detail on there, it'll sparkle and shine. Oh, Jazz was so the reason why he's late is because he had to get a mattress through a narrow driveway. Oh dear. <laughs> I can just see you, Jazz Boy. Hi, Carolyn. I would love a day of the dead skull. I will be crafting some cute ones. I didn't get to them last year, but I plan to get to them this year, hopefully. Amy said she's ready to craft um, 4th of July. All right. I think that this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and... Mm. Mark T, you're never late, jazz boy. No, he's not. Lori Stevens, you're from Oklahoma, Collinsville. Hey, Yanira. Yanira, I was thinking, 
I'm going to make a pot like this, like a Mother's Day one, and I'm going to overlap the flowers with some clay flowers. What do you think of that? I think that'll work. I'm just going to try that out and see. And I'll be using your clay, sweet friend. Hi, Norma. Yes, I'm so glad to be back. Like I said, it's always great to get away, but then it's always good to come home, home sweet home. Although I hated to leave that restaurant. You know, we had complimentary that was included in the price of the, I'm gonna go over this one more time, that was included in the price of the room, um, complimentary breakfast every morning. And the waiters were such gentlemen, they pulled out your chair and everything and brought you a little stand to put your purse on and gave you, uh, greeted you with a mimosa the minute you came into the dining area. So it was pretty fun. And oh my goodness, the food, amazing. There was like a setup of 30 different things to choose from for breakfast. And I'm not talking about biscuit and eggs and all that. I mean, you could order an omelet if you wanted, but there was all this different Mexican food that, you know, I didn't even know what I was eating half the time, but it was so good. It was, it was amazing. Man, I thought you were eating mimosas. I'll be like, can I get uh, some whiskey and a cigar? No, that was for <laughs> breakfast, Jared. <laughs> right. Okay, see how it looks kind of goofy? But it's going to be all right when you detail it. What do you mean goofy? Well, you know, the, the red is not complete circle and all that. But it, it works out just fine. So don't be afraid to try this. And at the end, you are going to get something that looks like this. I promise, friends. You're still doing Easter, Jennifer? Kathy's working on Christmas crafts. Well, Kathy, I feel like working on Christmas crafts occasionally too during the week. All right, so I'm gonna give that just a minute to dry and then I'm gonna go, let's see what brush am I gonna use. I'm gonna use this brush. This is a, I don't know where I got this from. It's a plaid, it's a round and it's a number three. And this is what I'm using to outline the black with. Hi, Judy Holland. Oh no, Judy, we're going to put you on your, on our prayer list. I'm sorry to hear that friend. Thank you, Carrie. Amy, you're still working on Easter. I wanted to do one more Easter craft, but I don't think I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, but I do want to come on tomorrow and just show you some quick, just like a quick video, Jared, maybe. Do you agree <laughs> if you're around? A quick little video on just some little how to, um, how to come up with some cute little Easter, just little gifts without spending any money, hardly. So... Hi, Terry Rich Robinson. You're watching from New Jersey? Oh, friend, this, this time change, I don't like it, but... All right, here comes the fun part. Try to get it thick. Jazz boy's leaving. Bye, Jazz boy. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you don't have any more mattress issues. So he said, if I had some whiskey and a cigar right now, he would agree to video tomorrow. <laughs> Not a bad uh, idea. Oh my goodness. And try to get this thick because you're going to have to put the dots on there. I'm 
that's a little bit too thick, but that's going to be all right. It's because we're on camera. I sure miss my Debbie Williams. Hi from Car Hi Denise. Muchos saludos a tus nietecitas, Elsa. All right, now I'm just going to go. Friends, there's no wrong way of doing this. You just be creative. Make it your own. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the center. And don't worry if it's not perfect, friends. Is your little tree in the background the Dollar Tree trees? My little trees? Which one? Uh, it's looking like the white one right there. The white one? No, that white one. Where did that one come from? I, I don't even remember where that one come from. I think that I ordered that one off Amazon. The Dollar Tree um, trees are real little. And Dollar Tree supposedly are closing some of their stores down. Family Dollar and Dollar Tree. This would be so pretty for a Mother's Day gift. My mama would love it. Oh, yes, friend. And here when I finish, I'm going to put something in it. And you're going to see how cute it's going to look. Hi, Irma. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Ann. And Ruthie. All right. So. See how thick that is? That's perfect. Now I'm just going to start right here. And again, friends, this brush kind of does that for you. It does it all. Try to get it thick. having trouble because I don't have it this way. Well, at least I'm like a little, like a little, little kid because I've been dipping my hands in that paint. <laughs> Hi, Philomena. Antonia. Okay, so basically this is all you do. Let me go ahead and finish that up right quick so we can detail the dots on there. This is a fun craft to do with your friends or uh, also with your kids. That's if they don't get the paint. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I can get in here. This is really, really fun and easy to do. And says you are having trouble because you are live. Yes. You're right. <laughs> ah. Sandy Hunter, I'm banned from Dollar Tree. Ha ha. She's what now? Banned from Dollar Tree. <laughs> now how can you get banned from Dollar Tree? Well, because her husband probably doesn't want her spending any more money. Ah. At Dollar Tree. I know when I was doing Dollar Tree hauls, oh friends, I was spending a lot of money. And then I had all these things that I didn't know what to do with. But I had to show them. And then Eric finally told me, Mom, you're a crafter. Come on, let's get back to crafting. <laughs> Yeah, Eric's working on a project of his own that he's got going. He came and helped me out with some technology earlier. See, look, friends. Oh, forgot that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I have never painted a pot, so this is something new for me. Cindy, this is so easy to do. And like I said, these pots over here with the faces, y'all already know how to do that because I have taught y'all through the stencils how to do that. And I do the same thing on the pots. Look, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for just, I did these with the stencil, the eye, the lips, the earrings, the flowers. And if you don't have a stencil or wanna make a stencil, just get a sponge. I sponge those little flowers on the side, on the other side, can you see it? I sponge those with a little, just the regular little sponge oh, yeah, you can tell tool. You use a sponge. Hmm? You yourself. can use a sponge as well. So that was so easy to do. I mean, I didn't do a good job because I was talking on, I mean, trying to text and painting at the same time, but. All right, so you've got it done. Oh, let me let it dry just a little bit more. And I'm going to get ready to put the white dots on there. Hi, Irma. Rosa Lance, did they know they had a YouTube star staying at their hotel? Yeah, right. Well, it's so funny because my son said, Mom, oh, because I was fascinated by that. Uh, it had just this really, really neat uh, elevator and I said man I feel like I'm in the movies in this elevator and uh, the bell man the bellman said uh, let me tell you the history about it and everything and he was so interesting and everything so but he told it to me all in Spanish and uh, so I said and my son goes can we do we, have, we need to do a video and mom you need to tell him to explain the history and all that and he said oh I'd love it and whatever so I get on there and I'm so reserved because I was so afraid to say, hey friends, welcome to my channel. <laughs> and so I got on and I said, uh, uh, I'm at the Grand Hotel in Mexico City. I had to think about it because I was ready to bust out and say, hey friends, welcome to my channel. Hey, Crafty with Indiana Jones. When I was around and my parents drove from New York City to Acapulco, wow, <laughs> totally hips, oh gosh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. You're just not seeing that one? Uh-huh. That was a long way down. Well, it's just moving real slow. Thank you for being here, Annie. Hey, and if you have a channel or a page, go ahead and let everybody know. You can even link it right here. I think it'll let you. I want everyone to be friends with you if you're my friend. Somebody asked, I'm like, is this the first one you're doing without glitter? Yes. <laughs> and then somebody says, you can add glitter. You can add glitter, but I'm not going to at the moment. I'm just not going to because I've got my, one thing, I've got the ceiling fan on because it is hot in my house today. I'm going to use the, I think I'm going to use, um, I don't remember which brush I used the tail end out of to make the dots. Let's see, maybe i use this one. This is just a shader. All right, let's get after it with the dots. Can you hold that? No. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> all right, you don't have to hold it all the time, the whole time. All right, so let's just start right here. As long as the fan doesn't blow it And on. no right or wrong way of doing this. You don't like the butt end of that because it gets a little bit of white paint. Yeah. Friends, we did so much walking. Oh my goodness. Everything and everywhere that you go, it's it's stairs, steps. No elevators. Oh my goodness. At the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. I'm not kidding you. You get to one level and you're fine and then you have to climb you have to climb, uh, we had to climb a hundred steps to get to the next level. And then there was more steps after that. And then going back to the hotel, see that slid on me a little bit, but I caught it. 
it's okay. All right, so then I can do a fingerprint pop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I went and I was like... Jared. What? Okay. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Never do nothing. Because well, I'm the youngest. So oh, I got two those brothers. two over overlap, but I mean, I'll show you how I fix that in a minute. It's got a little thread there. Oh, some biscuit. Um, I don't like it when I have to fix things, but it'll be all right. I'm glad it happened so I can show you. Somebody asked, do you have to seal the pots afterwards? Yes, I do seal them afterwards. Just with spray. Clear coat but spray. I think they're asking, do you have to? I would if you're going to put them outside, yes. Yeah. But if you're just going to put put it above your sink or in your kitchen, it'll be all right. My thing is when you uh, put the coat on it, or you can even use a triple thick, uh, it gives it that shine. It's so pretty. So I put, oh boy, Jared's getting in trouble. I know, this Jared is getting ornery on me here. No, I never get in trouble. No, you don't, do you? Well, not where you're watching. <laughs> And there's, like I said, there's no wrong way of doing this. Make it your own creation. Oh. I've got one too close to yep. the other. Oh, well, I'll fix it. Maybe. <laughs> I will. We're already at 41 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I'm almost done. This is fun, and it's so relaxing, because I'm in just in another world of my own when I do this. So we were saying that the dots make it stand out. Yes, gives it, brings it to life. All right, look at that. We're almost... Ah! No, I didn't. No, yeah. I didn't do that. Here, I've got to fix it right now. See, friends, it'll be all right if you mess up. Let's get you a wipey. Uh, let's see. Let me see. I will have to go back and fix this one, it looks like. I can't believe this is happening. Or maybe I can. What is toe painting? Toe painting? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like an, um, a real professional way of painting. Have you ever done that? Not really. I just do my own thing. I'm the type of person, I don't like to read directions. I don't like to, I just kind of like to eyeball things and do things my way. Look at that. Oh, I forgot the leaves right quick. Right quick, friends. So yes, did you paint the big pot? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Christy, I was in a hurry and I sent the card to Sandy. Sandra Crosby, y'all, has a birthday on the 23rd. And I sent her a card and I was so proud of myself. And then I realized, oh, I don't remember that I signed it. My intentions were good. I'll make it up to you, Sandra. I love Sandra. All right, look at that. That's too cool. We'll fix any mistakes here in a little bit. But for right now, that's gonna do it. Let me put that there. Clean off my- Whole painting includes swirls and dots. Oh, really? Is that, oh yeah, yeah, professional. But it's, it's done very professionally. I'm fixing to paint like this image pretty much close to this on canvas. I haven't painted on canvas in a while and I'm, now that I went to Mexico City, I'm antsy to do that. All right, so now, while that's drying and I'm gonna do the detail on top here in a minute, just, I've already got it marked. I'm just, just gonna give it the little black details and I'll show you in a minute. All right, so you need a little gift. Have these pots ready. And you can paint them in different colors. It doesn't have to be these uh, like Mexican pottery colors, but just say you need a gift, all right? 
So you just, like I got this succulent, succulent, I can't even say it. Succulent. <laughs> At uh, uh, Walmart. Walmart. They had real healthy ones. And I picked it up and look, you just get that and be creative with a card, a little pick with a card. And you got yourself a cute little gift to give. Isn't that cute? That would look, I'd be so happy if somebody brought me one like that. It's just precious. And you, these little, uh, the little plates, the little watery plates here, uh, you can find them at Walmart as well. This is a little oversized for that, but that's okay. That's all I had to work with. Okay, so I just have this little stencil that belonged to a bigger pot, and I'm using it. What I did is I measured, I started here at the middle, and then I went two inches and two inches and two inches, and it worked. I couldn't believe it. It actually worked. So now let me go ahead and stencil that right quick. I need a small stencil brush. Um, let me see. Where is my stencil brush? Jared, what are the comments? Uh, nothing right now. Nothing? I can't believe it. Friends, y'all are too quiet. Hi, Marcella. How are you, friend? Oh, Sandra hasn't been able to hear. Bless her heart. I think she's one that's having trouble. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm just going to stencil. Hopefully my so wife. said they're cooking dinner and listening. Oh, I know. I love to do that. You can see who it was because he was coming out so fast. You know, I was spoiled at my house in Midland. I had a TV in the kitchen, and I could be cooking and watching videos or TV, and I don't have that here, so I really miss that. Cut you out a little stencil, make it work. If not, just, you don't have to do this, like I said. Oh, those white dots are not dry, so I'm afraid to mess with them. See how easy this goes? How fast? So how many of you think you'll be making one of these? A couple of people have already said they're going to make one. I want to see you post a picture because y'all are so creative in your own way. And y'all make me feel so proud. So proud of you. I'm afraid to mess with this. Because I don't think they're completely dry. But I'm afraid to turn it around. Let me see. I need to press this down. Maybe it'll work right there. Reader says I will. Tammy, uh, Amy Timmers, I plan to. Look how, cu how cute of a gift is that? Oh, I didn't want to get that paint Stacey on my nails. Stacey Flanagan, I would love to try one. Oh, yeah. Hi, Judith. Your flower pots are so beautiful. Mm. Hey, Sally. Yes, boy. I'm just now seeing. I'm, I'm late on the comments. Yeah, they're coming up late for some reason. They're coming up very late. Okay, friends. Here we go again. If you mark your marks, I'm afraid to lay that flat. You just... And see, if you do a bunch of these at one time, you just do like an assembly line. So you were saying they're going to Walmart, Hobby Lobby to go and get the pots. Uh, yeah. I think that these, I picked these up this week because we got home and we didn't have any groceries. So we went, to, I went to H-E-B and it was just so busy. The park, there was, there wasn't even any more to park. So we just went to Walmart and not that it wasn't busy, but I just picked these up because I just wanted to get groceries and come home because anybody that knows me and knows me well knows that I'd rather take a beating than to go to Grocery shop. <laughs> I'm so spoiled to my Hanito doing that for me. Yeah, if you go early enough, it's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, one more here. And 
<laughs> so this is my mom's got a ton of pots. I'll try to convince her to make one with me. Yes, and I was going to show y'all. Here, let me. I got that one. Let me just go ahead and get the dots oh, on the here. Mark Tisa he sent you an Easter card. Yes, and Mark, I've them. got it right there. Thank you, for those of you have, that have taken the time to send me an Easter card. I appreciate you. I always, always appreciate you. Thanks for everything you do for me. Sherry Gillis, I can't wait to make one of those. So do y'all need me to post the pattern to this or yes. or can you freehand it? Somebody already asked if you can if you're posting the pattern. I can I can do that for y'all. I was gonna show you something else here and don't let me get at 50, or at 50 minutes. All righty, we're fine. We're fine. I'm done. Same as I have some pots somewhere in my craft room. I know. We. I, I just, uh, I used to keep a stash of them, and then when we moved from the ranch to this house, they got, they got all packed in one box, one on top of the other, and they were cracked. Those movers didn't know that I needed them for crafting. Yeah, one of the movers from Midland. Nope, they were the ones from here. All right, so, look. Okay, so one this one's done. Let's put that right there. Hi, Janice. Hey, Tamara, you should be getting you a package that I sent you. Um, I sent it on Monday. I need to send you that tracking number because I know you have issues with a male person. I'll do that. If not, send me a message and remind me to do that because you should get it by tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday? Mm -hmm. No, no, it, Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Oh. Well, if you don't get it by Saturday. Look at that. That is so stinking cute, friends. Look at that. Okay, so. Somebody asked. They didn't see the beginning. How did you put the flower on there painted on there uh yeah i just uh well, you got you'll have to here. you'll have to go back and watch the video i just just traced it i showed how i trace it from this i just made an extra copy and cut it and then i had this stencil from the bigger pots that i've done with this design and all right so look here's another cute one how Thinking cute is that, friends? Oh my goodness. Y'all have to make some of these. What I was going to show you is, well, where did it go? All right. I uh, picked up some this size because I was going to do, there's another pattern that I use using this technique with a, a half flower up here and another half one here with the leaves on the sides. But when I saw this little girl here, this little sort of kind of Frida, I decided to paint her on here and to ask y'all if you would be interested in wanting to paint one of these. So let me know in the comments, yes? Oh, don't forget to like, share, and comment, and comment friends. Rosa Lance, <laughs> I knew you were going to make a forklift comment to Jared. Hey, Sean. For painting pots, we say Tisto? That's what I thought. That's tisto? what I keep saying. I'm not sure I, I get that. Wrong. <laughs> How was the food down? Mark, the food was amazing. We ate too much. And um, there's this uh, historic place that used to be a palace. It's called uh, Casa de Azules. It's the House of Tiles. It's a humongous restaurant and gift shop. And we finally got in um, on Sunday, I think, the day that we got in. And I was so pressured because it was, it was just such a big restaurant and so many people. And the waitress came. And if we weren't ready, I was afraid that we weren't going to see her again. And I didn't understand the menu, and I, you know, I, I mean, I can make out everything, but they had it worded so different, and but everybody else ordered their food in my family, and uh, so I just said, I'll just take a hamburger and fries, and then I looked, 
and my, my Hanito and my daughter-in-law and my Polly that looked at me like, really? We just cannot believe you just said that. But you know what? It was the best hamburger and fries I've had in a long time. Uh, and I don't do hamburgers, but I did, and it was so good. It was slightly different than the ones here, but it was great. All right, friends, I just love her. I love her, and I think I'm going to do another one like her. So let me know if you're going to be interested in wanting to see that on video. Because what I'll do is I'll have the black painted and the flesh. I'll just show you how to detail it because it doesn't take much to... Uh, base coat the black and the flesh on there. Yes, yeah, somebody so, was asking if you can paint the girl. Yes, I will do that. I won't do this big one because it would take too much time. and um, But it's fairly easy. Like I said, you can do that. Gosh, the, the comments are coming up so late. But friends, mm -hmm. I appreciate all of y'all being here. And like I said, I want to come on tomorrow. Um... I don't know. I know I have to go into town. So maybe noonish. I don't know. Maybe noonish. I just want to share with you those. Uh, I'll let you know. I just kind of wanted to share with you the little quick ideas for uh, Easter treats. All right. Look at that. I love that, friends. What do you think? Let's paint some pots. I wish y'all were all here. We'd, we'd have a workshop and we'd just paint a bunch of pots. Look at that. that that's going to look so cute. I don't know where I'm going to put that one, but <laughs> these are going outside. I have a little plant stand. So there you go, friends. I know it was probably not what you were expecting, but... I really wanted to share this with you. If you need a little gift idea, and you know what I normally always have on hand? Uh, decorated pots, and then I always um, have little, in little solo cups, some ivy plants always going. And that way I just put a little ivy plant in and give them as a gift. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to, who doesn't want to get a little homemade gift like this? So, Friends, thanks for joining me today. See, that's why I wanted to closer. Sure. Thanks for joining me today. I love and appreciate all of y'all. Let me see what. Uh, the white daisy from your apron would look fabulous on that harvest orange. Yeah, I love this apron. My Hanito bought this for me. I already had the earrings, the Frida earrings. I had bought these in San Antonio last year when we went in May. And um, he bought, he surprised me with the, well, I had seen it and I liked it, but it was kind of pricey. And I said, oh, I'll just wait till we go to San Antonio. And then he said, no, let's go ahead and get it for you. So I was excited. What so. sealer do you use? I just used some spray sealer, um, and it was just something that I've, I've had. I get it at, oh, let's see, Home Depot maybe or Lowe's. It's just a, a clear sealer, and it works so well. Look how shiny as opposed to that one. See the difference? It just makes it shine, and it seals it, I think, to where it looks pretty. So, friends, that's it for tonight. I'm so happy that you're here. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share my video to people that you think might be interested in crafting with me. Remember, follow your heart and always believe in yourself. Love you, friends.